Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. You have the Rhino, you have the Ginger Snatch, we have this here beer. This beer is from the Bose Brewing Company. This is their two weeks notice German porter. 6% alcohol by volume. This is one of the beers made for their Oktoberfest party this year. What do we got here? Uh, local spring water, organic barley malt, organic hops, the brewer's yeast. Whoa. No coastal free range water. Yeah, that's a bummer. Free range coastal water. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sorry. I stand corrected. As you should say. As I should. It's very seldom that it writes. Give me a moment. <laughs> You know, mm, I can already I tell I'm really going to enjoy oh. this beer. Right now, it's the start. Why? It's real dark. dark. No, because it's dark and dark. nice. Ah, uh, it's dark as. Maybe less. Horse pretty sick for a quarter. Like, Alrighty. That is black. Yeah, yeah, there's a little bit of a ruby color in the light. Fresh, but nice, really light sucks. brown I head. And that just totally sucks. Mm. $16 an hour. So Not so much. Commute, I mean, like, wage. Smells hoppy. So, I, I would imagine more malty than hoppy by the look well, of it. Well, I don't like I'm no expert. I'm so. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm getting into that. <laughs> the label looks great. That would be so much better for me. Um. Uh, it's so much closer, you know. Out of the glass, it just kind of smells gross, in all honesty, Bose. Uh, out of the bottle, it smells really nice. Lots of lots of sweet malt, a little bit of caramel and all that. Out of the glass, it's just kind of... Derpy. Burnt. Burnt would be a good... Yeah. yeah. Not roasted? I, I would say past roasted. I don't know, let's try it. Yeah, Roasted, it's more burnt. Yeah, it happens, man. Oh yeah. I like toast screens. Like like, <laughs> for sure. What I want just Now you look just as pleased. The best, the best part about this two week notice review will be that you will hear the entire um, life story of the booberry. Right. Always. Uh, uh. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, oh. not for me. Way too burnt tasting. Yeah. Uh, they took the scrapings off the toaster. They dark roasted their malts and they dark roasted every single malt they put in here. Yeah, and that's a bummer. And they. There's people that are going to love this. I mean, if you're. <laughs> You like espresso? Yeah, if you if you're a really really big coffee head, you'll you should like it. If you're a heavy 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 smoker that really likes coffee, you should like this. Um, I always get the shit into the stick. I don't know why, but you always give me the. I <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously, but. Uh, no, it's. I I expected a lot more from it. It isn't a. Horrible beer, but it's not one that I ever want to drink again. Yeah, it's not god awful because obviously we've had a shit ton worse. But I would never. I fucking hate coffee. Fuck, and I don't like the burnt taste. It's just what? burnt and watery what? taste. Yeah, I. It's burnt and watery. Yeah, exactly. And there's nothing else to it. And it smells terrible. It's um. It tastes like a. It, it tastes like a, a strong dark, like a strong dark roast coffee. That's been watered down. No, no, not even, not even watered down. It, it tastes <laughs> like a dark roast coffee, um, and it's kind of the way a dark roast coffee should taste. You know what I mean? It actually and tastes pretty good. Yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe I just but I'm a chain smoking coffee fanatic. So. Yeah, me too. And that's what it is. This really is exactly what it would be. Good. I'm a yeah. smoker. I don't chain smoke, but still, this is bumming me the fuck out. Now, if you, if you they're like talking about coffee, cigarettes, though. <laughs> he's fitting in, he's fitting in. Oh, wow. I haven't seen him for like 10 years. He's fitting right in, great. Oh, now, again, don't get me wrong. <laughs> Bose makes some of the best beers I've ever drank. Mm -hmm. But not every beer is for everybody. This one isn't for me. I'd give it a 475, personally. I would never want to drink it again. Yeah, I'm going to give it a 4-5 because the same thing. I would, even if someone put it in front of me, I would not. I would go out of my way to not drink it because I'm not a fan. I mean, good for them because that's a part of their Oktoberfest, right? So, but 
you're chugging it like you do dicks, and that's good for you. But I um, you from the back. I'm not a f you. Oh, yeah. Anyway, Paul, Paul can't suck dick for shit. <laughs> I'll give it a four point five. Thank you, YouTube. Bye. Thanks, YouTube. Always a fucking pleasure. <laughs>